I was studying in Guadalajara Malayo University in 2008, the graduation. But don't ask where I start, when I start, <laughs> because it took me a decade to finally pass the uh, undergraduate, uh, sorry, bachelor degree for from Computer Science University, Gajah Malaya University. So if you just pass it, is this a postgraduate or S1, S2? Undergraduate, undergraduate, as IUP, International Undergraduate Program, yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. So, so if you pass uh, the your your classes in seven years, is it possible? If that's possible, that you still faster than me. So that's this is a motivation for you to just take it slow. <laughs> no. So now, nah, guys. Um, during my time in Gajah Mada University, a decade, I actually just in university about five years. The other five years, I'm doing outside, I don't know, outside life, outside job. Uh, that makes me not a theoretical person. I am a pragmatic person. So I don't, I never, I never took too much time in understanding the theoretical stuff, but just the basic and then do the execution. Uh, Pak Sigit, can I share my screen? How do I do that? Yeah, you can click share screen on under your right. uh, tab. Okay, <clears throat> share one. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Uh, if you see my screen, I keep the title for this class is software methodology, a pragmatic approach. Um, I'm going not. I'm not going to give you a definition what is software or what is methodology or other stuff like that, but just the basic. Because what you really need is the action of that understanding, not clearly and trying to understand it, but never doing uh, the exercises. For example, if you learn martial art, the best way to understand it is just to fight, not to read a book about how to fight or how to do the stand, but never really practicing it. So if you want to understand how to what is our methodology? Never read a book from the start, from and until the end, and the end, and stop. What you need is find a book of software methodology. Go to the back, read the text in the back cover. That is actually all the stuff that you are going to learn, and then back to the front, read all the preface and sometimes the appraisal for the for that books, and read the table of content. Find the chapter that. Uh, just the basic minimal stuff. For example, I'm going to give you something. Uh, first of all, let's see. What I want to say about pragmatic is someone which is realistic or practical, down to earth, focus on the essential of problem without getting bogged down in the unnecessary detail. So for example, if you are learning, uh, probably machine learning using Python, get the book and follow that don't don't just trying to read that from the start and until the finish but trying to uh, practice it so for example after i already give you what is pragmatic this is the definition okay so what i want to uh, to give you the what i want to give the approach is first this is software development in all of its essence only the one this one picture you don't need other picture, just this one. If you would like to do that, if you would like to do something, just print this and put this in your book. I don't know, maybe in your uh, laptop. This is all the software development in the current state of the software industry. For example, there is waterfall, methodology, scrum methodology, Kanban methodology, and extreme programming. I'm going to be honest, I never use Kanban, Kanban. So I'm not going to dwell and I'm not going to try to understand what is Kanban. It is a simplified Scrum, so that's why I kind of skip it. Uh, what I'm going to give you something is, what is the meaning of software development methodology? So uh, software development methodology is uh, a method of how to create a software using several teams which sometimes located in single geographical location, but all most of the time during the current state of the pandemic and the world interconnected together, all the team are dispersed into all around the world. So 
let's go back to the 1960 where all the staff all the people are already, already being named as baby boomers these are the generation that create waterfall method waterfall method is the method that you need to understand and forget you don't i mean you must know that this is the worst shower methodology in existence uh, i have a I, uh, in back in my first year at the college i worked in in a team with uh, my lecturers there and my seniors there we developed a software using waterfall methodology it really something that i appreciate and willing to forget all forever why because this is just uh, an example if you are trying to control something that is not controllable for example you see there are five steps here there are requirements design implementation verification and maintenance uh, all that baby boomers when they try to develop software what they are trying to do is first they gather everyone in the same room and then talks and talk and talk and talk and then produce some sort of documentation of the requirement sometimes it's several uh, inter sticks or pages of documentation of this is all the requirement after this you pass these books into the design team the design team might be something creating a user interface using a, a graphical asset and other illustration like that after that or also the pro application prototype with all the wireframe and several uh, stuff like that and then all the teams seem to be very confident that this that they already done the requirement okay and design okay and then they move that into implementation and this is where all the problem occur so for example if the requirement in the requirement it may be take about several weeks probably a month the best is actually just a week and then the design maybe take that two weeks or a month and then implementation what is the problem with this approach the assumption of the system may be changed for example at the start if you say creating i'm going to give a, i'm going to pick an example um you are trying to create a software trying to let me think uh, uh, okay um, right you are trying to develop a software to measure the humidity of uh the weather using uh let me say <laughs> wait wait i'm going to pick something easier to understand uh, okay this is okay so you are going to create something it's not just you are going to create software that in the 1990 uh do you guys know what is uh wartel hi guys do you know what is wartel how old are you? <laughs> um, I think Wartel is the place where you're supposed to make a call, right? Right. So, yeah. Okay. So, so right. At that time, there, there, there is a team that trying to create software for Wartel. They are create a software that where they, uh, when everyone, when some customer enter a, a room to do the call. And then they find something so they are trying their best to create a tracker color application so after everyone come out and then they create a bill and then they receive and automatically some stuff like that they very eager to do that and they, they make the requirement after several analysis they do that and that amount and then the design amount implementation three months verification two months maintenance amount and then what happened at that time they finished, there is no Wartel anymore because everyone already use wireless technology. This is the true disaster of waterfall, waterfall methodology because you don't think of there are elements of changes in the future, on the near future, that probably totally different in the requirement. For example, that, that team that trying to create software for Wartel, they just think that Wartel will exist forever. But they do that about five months and then there is no Wartel anymore. So what is the solution for this problem? We are going to go to the next step. 
agile. Agile is a broad term for software methodology that consisted of uh, Scrum and extreme programming, and finally Kanban. That I'm not uh, delve, delve more about that. The 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 I kind of say is the stupid thing. I mean, it's sim it's simple and yet it's stupid, but it works. So it kind of something that how is that how this kind of simple approach able to solve a great problem for example that's development of software for the nasa um, big uh, startup project like uh, gojek and grab they all use software methodology methodology which is agile either scrum or kanban now uh, if you would like to know what is the difference, it's actually like this. Uh, there are circles here. There are circles here. And every pace is not like this. There are There is no requirement pace, designment pace. There is no pace like this. But there are a small chunk of pace. Requirement, <coughs> requirement probably several hours. Design several hours. Implement several hours. And then all this stuff several hours intertwin into just one or two weeks one or two weeks so probably uh, everyone start with some software project they do the requirement it's not all the requirement just simple enough to do the work so what i'm already said is don't try to think too much ahead but try to think a simple one for example if i i was being appointed to create that water application i'm not going to analyze all the words in this word in the, in that word and then trying to categorize uh, catalog all the stuff that need to create uh, a better wordtel but I'm just going to make how I can make money the simplest money from this wordtel using my software um, now uh, let's pick another example <clears throat> the requirement let's let's pick a uh, Let's pick an example of developing a smart farming. I'm going to use a current example, smart farming. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to analyze all the uh, cases at once, just all the simplest one. What is the simplest one of smart farming? I'm going to make how to how a farmer register themselves into the application and then start work. Just that. And then start work. That's, that is probably just one or two days work. So I'm going to make uh, seven days of work. So for example, in the day one, I'm, I'm picking a uh, registering of the farmer. And then in the second day, I'm trying to implement uh, farm registration upon, the, upon that uh, farmer. And the activity, all of that stuff is just one week. After each week, I'm going, we are going, I mean, we are talking with the team here. We are going to evaluate and check whether there is new assumption changes or whether the implementation in the previous week actually solved the problem. If not, we adjust something. We are not, uh, we adjust something. So it's like uh, driving a car. Uh, trying, try to think how you drive a car. Do you drive a car by before you are leaving the garage? Do you think of thinking all the route you are going to take until the destination arrive. You probably don't do that. No one do that. We just thought, okay, I'm going to go strike and the left. That's it. And then, well, let's see if there are some, if there are obstacle, I'm going to take a left turn. If there are obstacle there, I'm going to make a right turn. And then if there is a block there, I'm going to just uh, make a U-turn. This is our different methodology using the agile approach. So, uh, as I said, now this is, I'm going to focus, really focus on the scrum process. If you guys, okay, I'm going to make a, a question first. Has anyone here uh, already developing software either by themselves or by a team? Anyone want to uh, answer this question? Those who answer will be given a... Uh, a voice <laughs> access. Anyone? Has anyone here developing a software previously? No one? 
Really? Uh, dep- uh, depends what kind of software. Anything. Uh, let's say a commercial project, not not. Uh, let's say a commercial project. There's some there's some client um, asking you to develop a software for him. Have you done that, Mas Alfi? Uh, no, I've only done like um, private projects, but not commercial projects. All right, not commercial Maybe projects. Others. Yeah, that's that's different because using uh, developing yourself is you can sleep and then start and then forget, right? There is no requirement for the deadline and requirement changes like that. So yeah, it's different, but it will be a good a good start for you actually. Okay, thank you, Mas Alvin. Anyone has anyone already created a project commercially? Uh, I've once created a software, but in purpose of a competition mm-hmm. for a hackathon. Nice. But, nice. But like I didn't do it alone. Yeah, I didn't do it alone. Right, right. Does uh, that count as commercial? Yeah, or? yeah. That's that's a step up from the personal project because there is a competition and there, there might there should be a quality. Uh, sorry, no, no, no. There, there is a jury that uh, the jury that evaluate your uh, software. What kind of hackathon is that? Uh, it was last year's hackathon, Toyota hackathon. Oh, right. uh, it was to create an accessibility app for the disabled. Right. Uh, is that a mobile application, web, or other? Uh, for my team, we chose mobile. Mobile. Good, good. How many days? Two days? In the weekend? Sorry? How many days are there the hackathon is? Uh, the hackathon, uh, it was um, from Friday on like... The evening until the weekend. Right, yeah. I have done that hackathon too in Jakarta. I do hackathon. It's really tiring, but but not at my age anymore. <laughs> There is no possible for me to work that two days straight. So, uh, yeah. Anyone, anyone working with? Uh, thank you, Mbak Zavira. That's a really uh, important experience. I really suggest that everyone here, if there is a hackathon. Just enter the hackathon. You don't think about how to win or lose. There, there is no win or lose in hackathon because you just see the atmosphere and you can get the feel of software house working working together competitively. That's that's very good uh, experience. Okay, if not anyone here, okay, I'm going to say that if you work uh, developing a software using a com- uh, in a commercial manner, there are really big difference in there because first. There is client that sometimes very noisy. There, there is something some client that uh, pushing them, pushing himself. For example, the, you and the client talk about developing a software, and then all of, most of the time, software actually user uh, sorry the client actually didn't know what they are going they are going to need. They are going to give you, hey, uh, my echo, I'm I'm wanting a software that uh, have this blah 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 feature with this. Egg, 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 um, uh, feature and then with the Y Y Y requirement and all that stuff. They talk about the talk and then after you work on that, okay, I understand. You work on that and you present that into about a month. Really, uh, if you are not using the agile methodology, you probably just going to report a month, two month. There are no time limit. And the, when he see your project, this is not what I want. This is why do you create something like this? This is not what I want. But after you trying to explain to him, even though it really match with the first uh, requirement, client will not going to accept that. Because why do you using? Why do you uh, creating some stuff that I don't know? You should contact with me first. So this kind of uh, this kind of event really did occur in my past. So like I'm able to say something like it because it really occurred in my past. And then using the Scrum methodology. You can solve that problem using this simple and clean method. For example, did, uh, when I talk about client in the Scrum methodology, you you talk the, uh, the the role is product owner. This is the one that would like to get their job done. They will give you specification for the project, and you take them. And you put that in the backlog. After this, I'm going to practice uh, how to use Jira for Scrum methodology. You're really going to need that Jira because all the company in this world, internationally, are using Jira. Every company in this world. 
if they are uh, if if they are not using Jira, they are a cheap company <laughs> because probably they are using Trello, Asana. They, those are free tools, but Jira is quite expensive. So if there is a company that using Jira, that is a, a high profile company. So you put that uh, requirement from the product owner into backlog all the tasks there, and then you make a you make wait wait wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, this is not quite good enough example so uh, there is a scrum master scrum master is the one who controlling uh, all the tasks that need to be done in that week they do that they pick several tasks in the backlog and then discuss with the team what are the tasks that they are going to need to solve in a week. Really, it's just a week or two weeks. My team, in, at the moment, in the high throttle pace, they are being pushed to work three, three weeks faster. So the, the usual sprint, which actually just two weeks, being condensed into just one week, this will make everyone work their ass off with high speed. And then they are working on that. Now, after they work, after they already choose all the tasks that are being going to be done in a week, they do that in Monday. And every day, every uh, desired time, they work, they meet together and then they doing a progress report. Uh, just one minute for everyone. So the meeting in the Stram call stand up, really effective. 15 minutes is the longest. We are we are naming that stand up meeting because everyone is actually stand up. Why? Because if it gets too long, everyone will be tired. So everyone don't want to stand that up, stand up that long. And then every other uh, day they do that, they do that, and after the end of the week, they release their software. So they release every software is actually just in a week cycle, in a week cycle. The important of this uh, simple decision is. Product owner will see their progress every week. This is a guarantee result in in a Scrum. If you don't use Scrum, you just think, okay, I'm going to give you a report about three days, and then I'm going to give you a report about a week, and then I'm going to report about 10 days. That is not a good approach because you are not disciplined yourself. Now, the great thing about a sprint is if there are tasks that are being chosen in a week, there, there, sh there must be no other task being inserted into that sprint except it is a bug. For example, uh, people say, the team say, without Scrum, they say, hey, hey let's pick this task, okay? And then after, after two days, I think that task is better. Okay, let's do that. No, no, that is not the way to do Scrum because if you do that, you will not get a result in the end of the week. Everyone is working as, as fast as they could and in the end of, of the week, they will release a software for that. Now, guys, I'm not uh, listening for someone talking about something that just a picture and static image is, well, it's kind of boring. So I'm going to do you, to give you the hands on for this. Now, I'm going to ask something. Have anyone heard the company name Atlassian? Anyone? Have anyone heard, heard the name Atlassian? Mas Alvin? The company who owns uh, Bitbucket. Right, right. And then, what is the tool of Atlassian that most um, popular? Bitbucket. Okay, other one? Anyone? What is other, com other product uh, created by Atlassian? Mazabira? You have any idea? Right, okay. Okay, guys. Uh, the idea of uh, Scrum is you can work with everyone in the world without meeting them. Uh, the conventional met the conventional um, agreement if you want to work you developing something you must sit in the same room. So everyone working nine to five are working from their home. Uh, I mean working uh, going from their home into the office in the same room and then work together. This is the conventional belief that 
if you want to work something, you must go to the office and work there. Uh, me, as a remote worker, since 2010, about a decade ago, I uh, really hate uh, this kind of lifestyle because I'm going, no, no, I'm going to stop this because if I'm going to speak about remote working, I'm not going to be finished in a hour. So I'm going to give you uh, my website. This is a remoteworker.id. This is a website to mentor remote work. Behind this website, there are 300 members. And all that member is not, uh, is cut, are coming from various background. We have lawyer there, really a lawyer, that trying to do their remote work by being also a lawyer. And they're able to do that. He, he able to do that. He able to pass the remote work. And at the side by side, they are, uh, he is using, uh, he's, he's working his, his, uh, his lawyering stuff. Now, what I want to going to say that this application is being developed with several developers that I have never met for F, for uh, for for the first time this application being worked on. I never meet them. I never meet them. I never knew. Sometimes I forgot where where they live. That's not important where they live. But the most important thing is every stand up you must present in the system and give the report of the update status. So. I'm going to give you a brief of um, our community and how we make application like that. Um, I'm going to give you, no, no, not the current one, just the right. So, uh, in, a, in a sprint team, uh, you, you create a channel in a Discord, you can use Discord. This is, Discord is actually already try already replacing uh, Slack. I, I'm going to give, uh, uh, ask something. Have anyone heard Slack? What kind of application is Slack? Anyone? Beside Alvin and Mbak Zabira, maybe everyone can answer what is Slack. Uh, sir, I think it's a yep. messaging tool meant for um people who work yeah it's a more professional uh, messaging tool yeah that's true that's true um uh about two or three years ago slack is actually the dominant uh group collaboration messenger but it's quite pricey for every person i think they charge seven seven dollars so if you have 70 people you yeah you can count them by self they are pricing that really absurd because it's really expensive but then come discord if anyone here is a gamer actually probably know that the discord is first being branded as a gamer platform where you rate a game and then you talk here but after this pivot themselves into a new application they make a discord is a slack competition a free alternative one all the feature in slack is here so i never use Slack anymore i actually firstly use slack because it's quite good but have if you look at the interface it's really similar all the features are really similar you can think as a clone of slack but it is free no chart whatsoever now uh maybe i'm going to use this because it's cuts it. All this, this is the active one. So guys, this is all the talk of a, of a Scrum development team. So every, I'm going to check about this word meeting. Meeting, 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 right. Here, we have a, a discipline to do the meeting every 8 p.m. sharp. No one minute in advance on the or one minute late every minute count so we are going i'm going to be very up at, at the moment at the start i'm the leader of this uh, community at the start i give them uh, a discipline don't never try to get late in scrum even though it's just one minute that if it is better if you just trying to start the, uh, in front of the pc it's now 719, 759, and then you just 
trying to click the join button and after 8 pm stop you click stay, you click it everyone going after exactly 8.00 pm why because time is important in a scrum there are three things that you present to the scrum master first you present what have you been done in the previous 24 hours after that what will you going to do in the next 24 hours and the three is there any obstacle that you encounter in the previous 24 hours only this you don't do the churhat you don't do the gossip you don't talk uh, meaningless you really just do this kind three kind of talk because it will make the meeting effective even though you never meet everyone here I really never meet anyone here at all because they are in uh, from they are from uh, surely in another city another probably another island too so guys uh, after that yeah this is the team that being work using a uh, uh, scrum we have meeting we had in the same room they produce a software in a time constrained manner that they, they able to deliver that because we are using scrum now i'm already said about what is scrum what is jira so let's do the jira stuff and for that i'm going to start with installation of jira uh, before I start, have anyone used it any previously? No, okay, that's, that's okay, right. Jira is a free software if the team is less than 10 people. So if you just yourself with two other guys, that's free one. So let's see this, uh, get it free. Uh, Jira, choose the first one. continue with Google free for up to 10 user this is actually just around a year because previously if you want to use Jira you must pay you must pay and there are there is a 30 days of free but after that you're going to need to pay for ten dollars a month but recently they changed their policy to be free for up to 10 years so it really helped with small steam development okay continue with Google Wait a minute. Pak Sigit, how many time that we have? Two hour and uh, 15 minutes. Two hour 15 minutes, okay, right. Oh, okay, so hey, uh, Atlas had already create, uh, already give you a subdomain for this. So, blah, 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 dot atlasian.net. Uh, Pak Sigit, what is the name of the class? International Development, what? IUP. IUP, right. IUP only taken. Corona. IUP, IUP CS, UGM. <laughs> right, okay. IUP CS, UGM. Okay, sip. So available, let's continue this. Uh, before uh, I forgot, if you would like to uh, read a book about Scrum, uh, pick this one. Scrum, how to meningkatkan produktivitas dua kali lipat dalam waktu setengahnya saja with from Jeff Sutherland. This is uh, the only book Scrum that I read and this is the most important one because it gives you uh, the, the philosophical background of Scrum. I'm going, now I'm going to give you the technique but for the really uh, essential of Scrum, read this book and the best, the best stuff about this book is this, uh, this book being written not by programmer. Uh, but he is programmer, but he he, write, he he wrote this book using a business development perspective. So Scrum is not just about uh, how to use how to create software, but you can create anything with Scrum. For example, in this book there is a Tesla, Tesla of uh, Elon Musk. They are using Scrum, and they use Scrum methodology. For example, in a week they put all the tasks that they're going to spend in in, in a week. After that, they try to. Uh, get it done and not taking other tasks it and then every day they present the progress now i already say that this this discipline actually very simple yes it's very simple but it really works so let's see what is the deal with scrum with this so welcome to jira 
you just use a software for this. Actually, I don't know what will happen if I choose another one because I never do that. Um, web developer. Okay, let's see. If at your team, skip. Now, help us set up your Jira. I'm new to Jira. My team is new to Agile. We spend our time working on feature because you are developing new sort of feature. We have a tight schedule to finish our work. Surely you have a tight schedule. You don't use a flexible uh, schedule for a, a work. That's uh, unreasonable. Okay, next. <clears throat> for the software, you uh, should be uh, using a Scrum. Recommended. There are Kanban, which I haven't never used it. But there is. this is a classic template. Let's choose the next gen template, the new one. So I'm going to use the Scrum. You, that, uh, your URL is a UPCS UGM. You get a project here. Let me say this is the this is Friday. Oh, sorry, this is Monday. <laughs> is it Monday already? Right, right, okay. Monday. So the project Monday project. Let's see. Okay, let's just create it. I'm I'm going to pick a imaginary uh, project that you can uh, you, you can use this, but I'm not going to use this. Uh, let's start stop the Jira quick start. So guys, roadmap, backlog, board code, and other stuff like this. Uh, in Jira, there is this is called lane. Or column, the column is to do, progress done. As I said previously, it's simple. This is all the tasks that you are going to solve in a week in a sprint. We call this sprint. Uh, sprint is running as fast as we can. So that's why in a sprint, everyone is trying to work as fast as they can. What are going? What are the activity? They try to move all the tasks from to do into progress, and then move it to done. And they are done with with that week. So after this, uh, we have we have column, we have lane, and then there are this uh, roadmap, backlog, board. This is actually the three stuff that you need. So let's first start with the roadmap. Skip. Okay, roadmap is a milestone. Milestone is the step of completion in a project. Uh, we are going to give you. I'm going to give you an imaginary pro project. Okay, I'm going to ask someone, please suggest what kind of software that we are going to develop. Any software project that come to your imagination is possible. Hey guys, anyone? It's up to you what we are going to build. Yeah, come on. Uh, right. uh, I have un unmute all of you. <laughs> Everyone, you can pick any project that you are going to build and I'm going to build it for you imaginatively. Imaginatively. Okay, I'm going to give you that time. Uh, not not now, but let's say um, one minute. Okay, to 18. I'm going to ask you again to 19. After that, one must say or now is possible too. Hey guys. Guys, uh, I'm going to give you a heads up. Uh, remote worker ID is being scaled up. Uh, so you will know what will happen to Indonesia in the future. <laughs> remote worker ID is being uh, scaled up and being helped with lots of great talent. Pak Sigit, do you know Warung Pintar? Yeah, okay. The CEO is working with me to scale this up. And also mm -hmm. this one. We are going to uh, to try to uh, expose it, um, push it forward. So, okay, anyone? Two nineteen now. Already two nineteen. Anyone would like to suggest what kind of project that we are going to develop? Yep. Okay. Anyone? Maybe Muhammad Daidar. Uh, uh, social media app. Uh, a what app? So media? 
Social media. Social media. Okay, what kind of social media that we are going to? There, there is, there are already lots of social media, but what will this new social media application will be? Uh. Uh, maybe a social media app that's mm -hmm. exclusive to OKM students. All right. We can. Okay. Let's pick the name for this project. Okay, we are going to develop a social media for the alumni. So let's pick the project, the application name. You can pick anything. Anyone, we can accept anything. What is the name of this project? Uh, actually, we also have uh, Sahabat UGM. Yeah. Sahabat UGM is one of the program proposed by uh, Kantor Alumni. Uh, so sahabat UGM will provide several activities. Uh, the member is uh, alumni, and then uh, they will give uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. donation. Yeah. <coughs> sahabat UGM. Okay. Uh, okay, we are going to make a competition for this Sahabat UGM. Okay, I'm going to pick a name for this. Okay, guys, we are going to develop a social media for UGM, but there is already a Sahabat UGM, but we are going to create uh, an alternative or a competitive version of Sahabat UGM. Uh, if there is Sahabat UGM, let's use uh, a versus for that. What is the negative of Sahabat? <laughs> Musu UGM, no? <laughs> Let you okay. Let let you this enemy of game. Okay, this the this, this, this application name will be enemy of game. So we are if sahabat of game is all the every all, is everyone who love game, but enemy of game is the opposite of that. This enemy of game will consist of everyone that dislike game. So what is the first milestone in this project that we are going to develop? Think about how to create an application that will attract all the haters of UGM. Milestone is a big plan. So, so we are going to create something. We are starting with this uh, last day of uh, Gajian, <laughs> Hari Tua, Tanggal Tua. But let's say the application should be closed or done in this November, in the end of November. So we have two months. We have two months in creating this application. So let's, what is the face of this Musu UGM application? Okay guys, what is the first step? Let's analyze. If you are going to create something, what is actually the first face of this application? It really imagination, your imagination, so it's, everything's okay. Okay. I'm going to wait. If not, I'm going to stop talking. Uh, by, by the first phase, do you mean like the first feature of this app or? No, no, not, not, not the first feature. Uh, okay, I'll give you. Um, okay, everyone, what is, who is it? Uh, I have a suggestion. Hmm? Maybe we could first do market research. No. Maybe find out where the people are gathering to I guess be the enemy of UGM. I right. don't know. <laughs> that is actually what I'm talking. If you are to give, if you develop something, you don't know actually what you. Yeah, I mean, you know what you're going to develop, but you actually, actually, what is the feature that I'm going to develop first? So you do the market research, right? Or market or demography. I'm going to use a market research too. Market research of market research. So. Uh, there is a line here. You can move it. I'm going to start. I'm not going to start in the weekend because this is uh, prohibited to work in the weekend. Okay, we're going to start in the Monday. It's actually around Monday. Sorry, this is should be done, not here. So I'm going to give a market research. Let's say, okay, everyone, how do you suggest how long this market research should be done? A week? days or two two weeks what uh, do you think and as give long you... as you can afford mm. because it's quite crucial isn't it as long as you can afford but we have but we have time limit of two months that is the limitation 
Uh, I'd say quarter of it then. Right. Okay. Let's see that. Quarter. I think it's around a week. Okay. I think uh, around this. Yeah. We, we can we can tune this up. We can click this. Click. Sorry. Sorry. We can click this. And you can uh, start date one and date. Yeah. Ex exactly. Uh, a week. Okay. We have that. After market reset, what will you do? Let's see. Okay. Anyone? The app, we don't have yet an application. After we do the market reset, what will you do? Any answer is accepted. Although sometimes some will be uh, denied. You <laughs> right? brainstorm ideas on features. Mm, good. You can do that. Okay, so now, uh, if you, you you don't think if I'm going if, if it start if uh, if, uh, if my reset is end of this, so we start this. No, it, that's not way the way to go. Maybe you can do this here, or probably after several days of my reset, you can do something brainstorming, right? So, but so let's say if uh, the my reset have been uh, have been done about uh, two three days, okay, so. And we going going to do the brainstorming, and then we should stop that around this. It's actually up up to up to the team. Actually, I'm just uh, doing uh, imaginative thinking. So this brainstorming, right? Okay. What is the next milestone or epics? Should be should be here. Anyone? Sorry. Okay. Now, this is a, a clue to you. If you are going to create something, just use the word prototype. Or are using uh, the working prototype. This working prototype should just about no no no. After the end of the month. Oh, sorry, no sorry. That's too too long. Should be just a week. Okay. Uh, I have a philosophical approach in doing everything that I trying to develop, start up, project, or other stuff like that. I'm using this Japanese language methodology. <laughs> can you read that? Anyone can read it for me? What is what I type? It's Japanese. Can you read that? Sak melakune. Ah, sak melakune. Sak melakune itu, eh itu sorry campur dikit. Sak melakune is What is the English word for sak melakune? I don't know what. As long as it works. That's good enough. And in terms of business, as long as it works and give revenue. That is the approach. So, uh there is a a disaster of startup about one or two years ago. Have anyone heard about Matahari Mall? Yeah. Have anyone heard about it or some probably buy from it? But my question is, have you seen it in a while? No, it's already uh, no. Yeah, it's already finished. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a secret for that. Uh, this is talk actually uh, being talked in startup group or founder of the startup uh <laughs> matahari mall being invested by i don't know i don't know the name of the investor but really big investor this investor what the investor did they they think of they think like this I, i'm going to create a technological of a digital application so i need to have a talented developer right so what they do they attract all the high paid developer into the their team and they create uh, the best possible software that they, th that, that they think uh, will solve their problem of entering this market. After several months, they don't get traction. Why? Because they try, they think they can, they, they think they can um, enter the market with the perfect software. You don't, you never have a perfect software. But what you need is, you need to have 
uh, saat melakukan software that gives you revenue and mm-hmm. after that you scale it up you add more feature you think about ways to attract more sell more revenue uh, and, th- and after that um, yeah you uh, you will well, let's say um, in startup term it's pivoting you trying to create a different product based on previous product that already attract uh, revenue. For example, uh, Gojek, right? You, you know Gojek. But do you think the founder of Gojek know that there will be Go Live? Probably no. Probably they, probably they don't understand. They don't know that we, they are going to have Go Live. How that occur? Because they, they just make, what they make for Gojek is how, if you, if, if you know the history of Gojek, uh, Nadim, Now, what Nadim do? What Nadim did first is not hiring all the tech developer, and then create a building and develop server. No, what they did is: is there a market for this? So, who is who, is, who answered this market research? Mas Dean, right, or Mas Alvin? Are you the one? Who... Uh, that was me. Mas Dean. Okay, this is actually the first step that you're going to need to do if you want to to create something. What Nadim did is, uh, he he uh, he create a set up an office that uh, using a landline phone. So there is the the first Gojekers uh, using a landline phone, and then if uh, there are customer, the customer phone this uh, center, and then uh, the hot quarter will check another uh, will check uh, that first Gojeker. So. What they they know about that is there is revenue. Now, if there is revenue, what they did is create a platform out of it. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask something. What is the differentiation, or what is the difference between application and platform? Anyone can give an answer. I'm giving it to anyone. Um, what is the difference between application and a platform? Anyone? I'm going to pick something, someone here. I'm going to pick, okay. I'm going to pick. Mas Faris, can you answer what is, can give you an answer, what is the difference between application and platform? Maybe you can unmute him. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think a platform is the the device. Application is in the, yeah, the aplikasinya kalau platform kayak Mungkin laptop, PS4, Apple, PS, oh, no, no, no. Android. No, no, yeah, you have. Uh, uh, thank you for your answer, but that, that that's not the answer that I'm looking for. Thank you, Mas Paris. Yeah, I'm going to explain later. Okay, Pak Sigegate, please speak, Mas Ihsan. <laughs> Everyone should be ready to stand up. Uh, for, menurut saya. Platform itu lebih ke kumpulan. Wait up, wait up. Kayak penyedia. Mas Sigit, are we allowed to use bahasa here? <laughs> nah, it's okay for the uh, discussion. All right, okay, okay, okay. Masan, you can use bahasa. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, menurut saya platform itu lebih ke kumpulan dari beberapa aplikasi, kayak tempat penyalurnya. Mm-hmm. Terus aplikasi ya aplikasi. Nah, you cannot say that aplikasi aplikasi. That is not a, yeah. a, an answer, but that's okay. Ma, uh, platform is kumpulan of what aplikasi. Alright, okay. Kumpulan dari aplikasi lebih ke penyalurnya. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Mak Isan. There is a truth in your answer, but yeah, not quite complete. Okay, I'm going to pick another. Ma, ba, Pak Sigit, could you please pick Mas Rizky Aji Putro? <laughs> okay. Mas Rizky Aji. How do you know if they are not sleeping, Pak Sigit? <laughs> It's very difficult. Maybe uh, we need to ask uh, all of the participants to uh, unmute the video. Yeah. Now that's a good. That's a good way. Let's see. Is anyone sleeping here? <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on. Uh, could you turn on your video for making this class more active and? Uh, The discussion. Hi, sir. Uh, yep. Excuse me. I was uh, doing something, but 
Um, sorry. I think application is actually more specific towards the software itself that's being developed, while platform is actually more foundational. So it includes the uh, steps to get there as well as like the hardware involved. Okay, uh, that's already uh, more complete than the previous one. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, two websites and you should decide which application and which is platform. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, anyone? I'm going to ask for, there is Comparan and there is the tick. Which one is platform and which one is just application? Okay, and give your answer why, why you answer like that. Okay. What is, where is, uh, which one is uh, platform and which one is application? Okay, let me pick uh, Mas Rian William A. Yeah, come on, Mas Rian William. Using this name, you should not use Bahasa. <laughs> Using my name, actually, I use I should use Japanese. <laughs> I have lots of O's. <laughs> Mas Rian, are you there? Mas Rian, can you hear the question from Pak Eko? Or anyone? Uh, anyone? Sir, can I please answer this one as well? Yes, you should. You, you must. Okay, you can. Okay, uh, I think it might be a trick question. I think both mm -hmm. are actually platforms. No. Since uh, right. okay. Okay. it's... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what, is your, what is your reason? What is your reason? Uh, I've mentioned that platform is more like uh, foundational and this is people adding on to, you know, it's a, a platform in the sense that the people can add on to their own opinions against uh, different topics like you see the uh, Bola and uh, mm. automotives and everything like that. So it's not necessarily specific enough to be an application. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, there is uh, some truth in that. Uh, you you trying to differentiate uh, uh, between uh, platform? Okay, I'm going to give you another answer. Uh, another question. Um, what uh, what is more beneficial if you create a market and a what is warung? Ah, let, let, let just warung. What is more? If you want to get more revenue, what will you trying to develop a market pasar? Or a warung, or Mbak Mas Rizky Aji, aku akan kontak sama diri aja, karena kamu tadi yang menjawab. Mas Rizky Aji, kalau kamu aku minta mengguna disuruh milih buat pasar atau buat toko, mana yang kamu pilih yang akan pasti lebih banyak untung? Uh, sorry sir, can you ask that again in English? I'm right. not sure I understand. Okay, okay, if you like, if I'm going to let you pick, what will give you more revenue? Creating a market or creating a warung, a store. Yeah, creating a market. Right. Why is that? Uh, a market has a far-reaching audience and it's more stable in the long term. Good, good, good. Now, guys, platform is a market, and application is a store. Maybe some someone already said that. Sorry, if if someone already said that. But if you want to. Uh, platform is platform. I don't know. Platform. Actually, sir, I want to make a store. Right. Sorry, sorry. I, I I want to make. This is my opinion, but right. I want to make a store at least at the beginning because uh, managing a platform at the very mm. beginning without yeah. the prior experience might be harder. Right. Right. True. True. But maybe harder. True. 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 Yeah. You you should pick up uh, from the um, simplest one, right, and then uh, leverage uh, scale it up after that. So yeah, thank you. Uh, if you create a marketplace, you just create a people to do the transaction. This is the mar this is the, the the concept or idea of marketplace. And then you create a marketplace. There is a place. Marketplace is like Tokopedia, and then um, 
I think Gojek is also marketplace. Let me see. Yeah, Gojek is also marketplace. And then Ruang Guru is marketplace. Why? Because every marketplace trying to introduce from buyer into customer into their own platform. Because you are creating their own platform, first you can, uh, if a buy, if a seller would like to uh, sell their uh, service, um, it's free. They are they are like, hey, it's free. It's okay. They they they, they sign up, and if the buyer would like to use the application, they also use it for free. So where is the, the money come from the marketplace uh, business model? So when, there, when, when all these buyer and all these um, seller doing the transaction, they make a cut either from the buyer or from the seller. For example, for, for like Gojek. Gojek don't have a driver. They don't have driver. They just create a marketplace. Every, dri every driver sign up to that. And if there is a customer would like to get picked up from one destination to another destination, uh, this, what did I say? This customer just broadcast. I'm going to go this, and everyone trying to apply to that, uh, to that destination, and then Gojek give a route and the tariff for that, and they make a cut. So, I would I, I really like to make an a platform because you can cut take cut from anything. I'm going to give you another example. Remote worker ID is a platform. If there is, I have a product here, a bootcamp online. Bootcamp is the way to make your job fast. Uh, able to, there is a two step here in my bootcamp, in my product, upgrade skill. If you are a noob, you apply this. There is an upgrade skill. After, after that phase, you're trying to work, you're trying to push into remote work. You get this uh, step. So I'm gonna cut. I, when they're trying to sign up here, I make them buy. Af, after they already buy this upgrade skill, they buy this. Now, when they sign up, I get the money. Now, after they accumulate into this platform, so this is this uh, Discord is the communication platform after uh, in this plat uh, in this website. I have three hundred. I give you example. So yeah, maybe there already something. Here, I have almost, uh, I have 300 plus uh, people. Because there are 300 plus people, if I have project, let's say from Pak Sigit, give me some project, and then I mean it stuff, I mean that project from this, I also take another cut. So for example, Pak, give, Pak Sigit give me 800 rupiah, and then I give to the community 800 rupiah minus blah, 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 I get the cut. So. This is the way of marketplace work. They make cut from every transaction. So, Master Risky, if you like to build something, please just directly create a marketplace. You don't, uh, because in the long run, it's really going to be big without you doing the transaction. That is the differentiation. For example, if you're trying to create a toko, a store, you must prepare all the product. You must prepare all the cash and register. So, it really... Uh, expensive so so Kumparan is a platform because everyone can read uh, put their story here and if there is a news Kumparan official but there is also news from user Kumparan but the thing is application because you cannot read uh, you cannot write Everyone cannot write into that without, but except for the comment. But that, but but it, that, that's not a product. You cannot create an article, right? So, this is a platform, while this is an application. That is the differentiation. So, for example, it's actually if you think of the essential. In in Kumparan, there are several detics, because there are several publisher, for that. Okay. I think I'm going sidetrack here. Why why I'm going to why I talk about that. Anyone know? <laughs> Pasigit, do you know why I'm talking about platform? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Right, okay. Working prototype. Um, why I forgot? Why, why I'm talking about marketplace at a sudden? Mm. I think you were talking about it because 
we were hmm? talking about, uh, thinking about how we might ad- advertise the product. No, not really. Let me. Like <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I back up because I'm talking about Matahari Mall. That is a marketplace. And then yang gue talk about tumpah. So let's backtrack. I'm talking about uh, Matahari Mall. How they fail because they don't create a prototype and then put that into market. Sorry, that is so. Let's get back. Pas lagi dia ada azan. Should we uh, break for a moment? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we break for five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. Maybe yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take a drink first. Thank you, Pak. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe uh, you can try to find a question that may be appropriate in this topic, yeah, uh, uh, about Scrum methodology, and then uh, maybe in the implementation of Scrum methodology, because uh, Mas Tiko is, uh, I think, is uh, he is very familiar with this uh, methodology. Yeah? Uh, right now, he worked with me to develop. Uh, Software on precision farming, yeah, and precision farming, <clears throat> and he used uh, Scrum methodology to finish the work only in yeah about two months, yeah, about two months. It's very short uh, time in uh, project implementation, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, please check your attendance. Uh, I have shared the QR code again. So, for who uh, not yet taken the attendance, you can check your application. Yeah.
Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, uh, Sigit, maybe we can uh, start again. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I switch back to you the screen because uh, right. right now I share the uh, attendance system by using the RM. Okay. okay. Uh, let's stop. Yeah, okay. You can continue your screen. Right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What is what is the the last talk that I'm I have been given? Anyone remember it? Prototype. Platform. <laughs> right. That was a prototype. Okay. Working prototype. <clears throat> okay. Let's just use the, this three miles. It's already enough. So your goal is creating a product to attract uh, UGM haters and put that into application. So we do the market research after that by storming and then create the working prototype. Okay. Let's use this uh, just three milestone. Okay. Let's go to the backlog. <clears throat> In backlog, you can jot down anything that you think you would like to develop in this application. I give you a, a secret. I always have my phone ready. There is a, there is a Jira, uh, there is a Jira application here, and every time I have an idea, I put that into Jira. And uh, but the bad thing is, sometimes I woke up at 3 a.m. and put that ideas into Jira because. If you don't put that into Jira backlog, it will just vanish. And I'm trying hard to remember it will not reappear again. So sometimes uh, I drive a cycle, motorcycle or a, a car. I have that idea and I always uh, write it down. So write everything that you would like to be in your application without thinking of the time limit. So this is ideas. So for example, uh, um, okay, what will you do? What is the task for market research? Okay, Mas Faiz. I'm going to pick randomly now. Mas Faiz, for market research, what will what are you going to do? Mas Faiz Hansa, are you there? I'm going to diverse the audience, not just Mas Dian or Mas Alvin. Yes, sir, I'm here. I'm currently having that audio issues. Can you repeat the questions? Uh, what is the task or the, or the, or the to-do list that you are going to do uh, for market research category? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, your your voice putus putus. I don't. I, I think I have got internet connect, internet connection issues. Sir. Okay. Okay. I okay. can hear your voice. Can you hear me now correctly? No. Putus putus, yeah. Why? Really? I think it's my internet connection, sir. Okay. Uh, maybe anyone can uh, repeat the question, uh, can give an answer. What will you do in a market research category milestone? Okay, please, the other. You can uh, answer. I'll give you an idea. Question. Stock Facebook account that hates UGM. Uh, there are lots of maybe uh, some we have president from Jokowi right Jokowi from UGM let's see uh, who hit Jokowi and then trying to look from their university background so maybe you get uh, they are coming from ITB maybe or Unibra maybe so probably the one that hit UGM is not an UGM insider right that is the first clue so Let's just talk FB account for that hates UGM. Okay. Okay. To make it fast, I'm going to answer it myself. So just uh, uh, watch it because we have kind of have a time limit here. So, and then after I stock FB account that hates UGM, I also stock Twitter account that hates UGM and trying to, let's see, see what are their tweets like. Maybe 
we can make a, a, a connection that I think everyone that had UGM is also reside in Surabaya. I, I, I just give you uh, a random conclusion. So because of that, you can make uh, another research, research uh, market research. And then, uh, let me see. While I'm doing this, you can also suggest yourself. So this uh, this talk at UGM is the in the milestone. The parent is market research. Nah, so let's just use two two tasks here, and in this also market research. So you have done with the market research, and then uh, for the prototype, prototype mean developing software in the MVP minimum viable MVP. Mm. What is the P? Minimum viable product. Yeah, 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 right, right. Product MVP. So the application should be a mobile application. That's uh, for sure. And you must think of this in terms of creating a hello world for app. That could that, that should count as. Okay, let me say. I, I think I make a mistake here. ID brainstorming. Sorry, this is ID brainstorming. So ID brainstorming is. Uh, what will the features of this application? This is this. this uh, so I have a question. Right. Yeah, you can. Uh, so, for example, if we want to research from our competitors' hmm. product, hmm. is that under market research or under ideas brainstorming? I think that's. In a market research, yeah, you have like that. It's a market research. Even though we were like trying to see what are and stuff like that, it's still in market research. Uh, you mean we are trying to to see uh, what are whether where whether there exists a competitor for our application? Uh, yeah, and if it and if it exists, like we want to compare the features mm. of that app our app so does that conclude in which category that conclude with the market research because you're trying to see if you put this your application into market so what are the competition there so yeah that is a market research that is that is a good question but zafira that's true thank you yeah okay uh feature of the application working prototype and then release the application to uh, city demography that probably hate OGM, right? So this count as a prototype too. Uh, I'm going to give you an idea. This is just uh, initial backlog, but after several time, you don't use this milestone anymore. After you release a product, you just put every idea. For example, I'm give you, I'm going to give you an idea of uh, optimizing the application, the app, and then head to head with what do you say? Head to head with that competitor using their market strategy. Uh, so. It's like Gojek and Grab, they are on the same market research. And they, they are on the same market strategy, for example, like that. So we do that. So every idea just jot down here. You don't think of how to complete them. But in every start of a week, in Monday, it's not just Monday, actually. Every week, actually just every uh, agreeable date. So we make a start of the sprint in, in Wednesday. That's fine. So every start of the week, you go to the... Uh, you go to the backlog and create sprint. Sprint one. So you pick what is the possible task that you have that you 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 can you solve it. For example, this first and then this first. Uh, you only have several people. So this stock FB account that has UGM. Uh, there is a story point here. Estimate. Uh, the, this value of the estimate is really an estimate. You can estimate anything, and every company 
have a different approach of story point. For example, I have been working with a Canadian company remotely. Uh, they, for the story point, they are using uh, two, uh, one for 30 minutes, two for one hour. So for full full day, they are having 16. One full day, they, ha they are having 16. But I, I don't like that because I, I really like to have a one as one hour, two as two hour. So for example, if I want to start FB account, they probably create something about half day. Half half day, so four hours, and then for this, for the Twitter, I'm going to probably just around. Sorry, um, eight hour a day. So, you pick everything here. I'm going to skip the other story point for that. Now, af after you calculate this, so it should be done in a week, and then you start the sprint. If this button already start, there is a, in my company in Canada, there is a, some kind of religious feeling that this is holy, holy start. So this is holy start, which means you must really, really committed to, con to finish that, this to do. So we're going to the board. There is a sprint here. There is to do here. Now, Scrum Master, is the one who manages this task, who, the one who manages this sprint. So uh, if I, as a product owner or client that would like to, to uh, get this application done, when I, when I see this, this means no one is working. So if, if, if someone is working, they put here. Another one working, they put here. Let's say it's been a day, and then of tomorrow, one task is done. And tomorrow, we have going to the next day, all these team conclude or meet in the same in the in the same time, give the progress report, like I said previously, what have been done, what have what will be doing, and then what is the problem, and then this means we can only solve a task a day, right? Here, here, for example, here. So I, I will around uh, four days after that. So we have the last day and. Let's say it's been a week. If this has been a week, this task must be completed whatsoever. No argument whatsoever. For example, hey, I haven't done this. Let's let extend the sprint into one day. That is not possible. So when we complete this, all the tasks that have, have haven't been done should be moved into a new sprint. We have going to the next week. Now, this means we are not good our performance is bad because why? Because there are tasks from the last sprint that getting carried into this sprint. We are working in a slow manner. This is the idea of Scrum. This means, uh, hey, we need more resource for this. Why? Because we, there are two tasks here that being carried out from the previous sprint. This is a, really bad for us. Say, okay, we put another team. Okay, we have we have double our resource. Let's add another. We start again. This is the second week. Start. We're going to this. And the process repeated. I already finished with my Scrum course. This is the idea of Sprint. Sprint. This is a re repetitive. This cycle is going to be re repetitive. Everyone just working every day and then working and doing the stand up, moving it, and then doing the, the complete any leftover will be into new sprint. And then we talk again before the sprint. There is a sprint planning. I'm sorry. This is this is a sprint planning. Sprint planning is once I going I'm doing this, that means we are going to, to do the sprint sprint planning. So uh I have already quite uh, completed with my course because sprint scrum is just repetition of this uh, cycle. And yeah, this is the idea of spin. Simple, really simple, but it really works. No company that not using Scrum at this point of years in software development. Okay, Pastor Git, I think I can uh, give the floor to you. Maybe there is a test or q and I don't know. Thank you, Pastor Git. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, Mas. And then I think 
the next is for uh, this uh, discussion with uh, the student. Uh, maybe uh, you have a question about uh, the detail of each step. Yeah, uh, Mas Eko has explained uh, globally and then gave an example by using Jira. What is Scrum and then uh, how uh, Scrum is managed the activity by using Jira. Yeah? Maybe one uh, of you or uh, someone, uh, one of you can make a question about uh, uh, activity or about all of about Scrum. Yeah? It's okay, yeah, Masiko, yeah? Yep. Uh, for the discussion. Actually, not okay. just not just about yeah. Scrum. Uh, anything, server so development, anything, startup. That's fine. Python. That's okay too. Remote work. That's okay, okay yeah. too. It's almost everything you can ask to Mas Eko. Uh, use your <laughs> time. Use yeah. your time. Uh, use my time here because probably I'm not going to be here. It's week, right? So, just use my time here. <laughs> okay, but but maybe. If, uh, all of the students in this class uh, ask for me again to invite you. Uh, it's quite possible for you. Yeah, sure. So. I'm just at home every day, <laughs> so that's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, please, uh, you can uh, raise your hand or uh, turn on your microphone to ask a question for Masiko. Okay, yeah. Uh, sir, I have another question. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Since you said that it's bad to have a previous task of the previous sprint that mm -hmm. you carry to the next week, yeah. but I think it may be possible in some cases that your team is not working on something and then one task is carried to another. So how do you deal with that? Do you just leave that out or do you leave another uh, another task in the next week for the task that you carried from the last week? How do you manage <laughs> when they a task that you didn't do from the previous sprint? Okay, that is a really good question because I'm going to give you a, another concept for this. This idea, this story point estimate. If, I'm, uh, if I already estimate a task to be down, let's say 16 hours, that means two days. So why it doesn't solve in a week? That's not possible. So this means, uh, several several things, but that mean I prob that mean I am underestimating the task. Uh, and then you look at the the hourly clock that the developer being used working on. How many hours have been uh, spent in the task? Let's say it's it's more than sixteen hours. And then after this, maybe this task is actually not one task. This is probably just a group of tasks that being taught about only so for example uh i'm going to say solve a of the developer using solve a it's actually solve a1 a2 a3 so this actually should be separated into several tasks that's actually mbak safira we first we underestimate so this should be split into another task but if we if it really does occur and uh, if there, if that is actually simple, and no how are being locked in that, in a in a good manner, this means the developer is bad. I have a lots of experience in other company where the company firing fired that developer because lots of tasks being carried out. Oh, the, he um, often left make one task move into another task without finishing into another sprint. That means he doing it really bad. Yeah, that, so that's it. Is that uh, answered your question, Zabira? Uh, yes, thank you. All right, okay. Okay, thank you uh, for the good and the question, Mbak Zabira. Anyone? I have a question. Right. <clears throat> uh, I'm quite curious. In, in your workplace, do you only use Scrum? I'm assuming that you also use a different kind of methodology? Right? No, 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 no. And if so? Hmm? So it's only Scrum. Yeah, Scrum is already a standard here. Every company in the world using this because we are working remotely. Uh, this the norm is we can. Uh, sorry, I'm going to give you. So I I will say that I'm not using Kanban, right? But there are other company that prefer Kanban uh, than Scrum because Kanban is easier. But I cannot give you the answer why it's easier because I'm not using it because 
most company is using Scrum. So, minority is using Kanban. So, this is my answer. Okay. Anyone? Okay, another question maybe uh, from the others. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, I was kind of intrigued about the open source like um, methodology. Like, um, have you ever dangled in open source projects? And if you have dangled in one, then uh, can you draw correlation between like open source methodology and Scrum? Thank you. Uh, sorry, I, I, I don't quite grasp it yet. Uh, can you repeat the question? Um, have you ever had experience working on open source projects? Mm -hmm. And if yes, um, then can you draw correlations between open source methodologies and Scrum? Uh, there, in, my, in my understanding, there is no open source methodologies actually. But if you are asking whether open source project using Scrum <laughs> or they are how is the different implementing a scrum in an open source project but the answer is open source project doesn't use a scrum actually because it's a free project right uh, for example there is a what is open source project that, that i mean like 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 is no gs is free it's a free project right it's a project everyone can contribute to them so just there is no specific time limit for this so uh open source project is not using scrum because there is no time limit, but if we are using a uh, commercial where the resource is limited because there is cost, so we are using Scrum. That is the essence of uh, Scrum actually. So limiting resource, with limited with limited resource, we can produce twice the result. That is the ideas of Scrum. But open source project doesn't have that limitation because no one is paying that. So everyone just working with their contribution. So we don't have a time limit for that. We're just working as our pleasure. Sorry if it's not answering your question, but that is my question. OK, thank you. OK, thank you. Yeah. Uh, sir, can I ask another question? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, regarding about your remote, remote work ID, mm -hmm. So how long did it take for you to start your remote work ID? And did you start alone or with your colleagues? Good question. Good At question. first, how did, you, yeah, how did you manage the process of starting up your own business? I give you, I am going to ask you something. If you would like to create a startup, what is the first thing that you do? Have any idea? A free one, not an expensive one. A free task that you can do to create uh, your first startup. Uh, maybe uh, ask a friend. <laughs> I'm not so sure. No, I'll give you an idea how to create a first startup. Open your Facebook. Yeah, this is not my Facebook, sorry. <laughs> Do you know what I'm heading with? If you want to create a startup, open Facebook and then just create a page out of it. Where's Palaman? It's free, right? <laughs> you can just create yeah. this anything. So if an idea, I'm going to create a, a something that name, uh, create a header, oh, sorry. No, I'm not going to create a page for header Ugam. It will be, <laughs> Facebook will take it yeah. down. <laughs> but, so you, you, <laughs> you just create page, you give it the name, and then create a category, and then yes, you have a page, right? It's free. And after you create a page, what will you do? Actually, what I do is, I have an idea of, about 2017, the ideas of, I, I love Python, I all love working remotely, so I want to mentor someone into remote work. So I get a page, at the time the name is not remote worker, it's just not another name. I'm not sure whether there is exists here, Python enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, uh, this is the first, uh, the first bird of Remote Worker ID, the name changed into Remote Worker ID because you know Remote Worker ID, right? Remote Worker of Indonesia. It's simple. But Python 2 says, huh? <laughs> maybe uh, everyone always misspelled that. Where do you put the H? 
whether it's the first or the second or whether it's not at all. So the name is not good. So I'm using a remote worker.id. So I've already created this. So after you create this, everything, every time you have an idea, just post that. For example, if I'm creating Python 2 CS at previously before the remote worker ID, I'm just post an idea of my thinking about how what is the benefit of remote work, what is the benefit of Python, how to put what is the advantage of working at home? I'm doing that very, very slowly. 2017, regularly after that, I mean, I'm enjoying the process without time limitation. After one or two years, how, what do you get? A brand. You create a brand freely, right? So that is the first idea after you're creating, um, I'm creating itu, uh, a page and then Using this methodology, saat melakukan metodologi, I'm just creating a website where people able to apply to my course and then pay me. Now, using that matahari mall big mistake, you should not hire developer or create a, an office that big. You just create, Mbak Zafira, if I'm going to give you the next step, what is the next step after I'm creating a Facebook page? Uh, you fill it with posts. All right, after that? Uh, I'm not sure. All right, the answer is you should re reserve your domain. Right? For oh, example, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, it's, there is an expense, uh, a domain.id is about 180,000 rupiah. So you, there is that this is the first cost, right? But it's still small. But reserving a domain is important because if you have an idea and then you don't reserve it, after you're trying to apply to it, oops, someone already. So I give you an idea. I have lots of domain here that probably sometime will turn into a startup, but probably not, but at least it's already reserved it and it's not that expensive I, I actually got let me see i'm going to give you a, a secret here let me see you my domain <laughs> i have this chebong programming i'm not sure why I, i'm reserving that life skill i don't know probably life skill is a platform i really love to create platform a platform where people can offer their skill and buyer will pick their skill, uh, their uh, worker. Hey, this is Python 2 CS. I'm not continuing anymore because I don't need it anymore. Remote life.id, that's probably something that, I just have an idea. I just, remote enthusiast, that's not good. See, uh, remote student, I use that probably last next year and then, let me see. Ah, Pak Sigit. I have an idea actually to create a university staff with remote worker.id. Reserving it is cheap, but after I, I see the prerequisite, there is lots of uh, legal documents. So, oops, okay, yes, at least I reserve it, but I'm not able to reserve because that is so. But, but this means uh, I already add my pet because remote worker ID already been reserved, right? So, guys, I'm already create a new one. This is just about I think today. Yeah, today. I just reserved about about this uh, subuh, uh, 5 a.m. I think I have an idea that. Do you know uh, why from where we work remotely? S1 dot ID tagline coming from. Anyone watching? What sport? No one. F1. We race S1, right? So, I watched of one. There is a Wiris S1. This is really inspiring because, okay, Wiris S1, but as remote worker, we work remotely as one. I'm not sure what we will going to be done with this. Probably just a leftover, but at least I deserve it. So, to answer your, your question, Mbak Zavira, after I creating a Facebook page, I'm creating a domain, reserving it, and then I'm creating the, post, the smallest action after that with chip. Don't, I just use uh, WordPress. WordPress is free, right? 
you just create a block here and then uh, root that this WordPress domain into this. So there is cheap, no, you just and uh, put your content here, but you, now you already have a brand, you have already a, a application, you have already a content. Now just see where this is headed. Don't overthink. For example, all the idea of startup is business. So I'm going to make a sale there, a page here. Hey, I have a course here about 500,000 rupiah. If you like to apply, just click this was up and then I'm going to give you in an instruction. So there is no cost in developing a WordPress application. Uh, that is called by very simple. Now, after this revenue has been generated, what do you get? You know there are market demands. So the biggest failure in Matahari Mall is they don't know there are no market demands for them but they already spend million of US dollar. So with this, with just simple cost, we already understand there are market demand and there are revenue, and then just follow it along. You can just follow it and uh, trying to understand what are other products that you can deliver to them. For example, at the first, I really just talking about teaching Python, but after that I realized People is not learning Python to understand Python. They learn Python programming to get a job. Oh, I see. So let's create another product for after course course. We are creating a mentoring course, right? This price one and a half million. This price one and a half million. Uh, so I have three million for a person, right? So we have a new pivot here. Just follow it along. After that, community is being built up. We have, as I said, as I have been showing you, 300, 300, uh, 300 people, what have you? What can you build with that? I can create a software agency. I can, uh, I can, I can offer this talent to other other company. Hey, do you have a, do you have a job? I can make them for you. How many talent do you have? 300. Whoa. Okay, I give you the job. Blah 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 blah. So I have another job, software company. So I can get a cut, another revenue. <laughs> right, there is another uh, invisible revenue coming. There are 300 people. Some people may get job overload. Some people don't. What they do? They say, "Hey, uh, can I give you? Is anyone available for a job? This one? Okay, I'm available." They do the transaction. I'm not going to make that free. Hey, if you doing a transaction here, I'm going to take a 10 percent cut. <laughs> right? So I have. How many revenue did you know that? Registration, and then server agency, and then cut from their transaction of the project. So that is about Zafira. Actually, and everyone, if you would like to build something, don't overthink, don't overthink. Just create a Facebook page, reserve your domain, domain and enter your post, create your branding. I'm going to give you a really important uh, advice. Personal branding is one that should done in enjoyable manner. You mean you don't stress enough to do the personal brand, you just expose yourself to the internet freely, easily, but take time. But after several time, this will get a strong result in your product. For example, Raymond Walker ID, just let, let's see when has been this result. Raymond ID. Uh, November 18, so probably um, a year. It, it, this is just a year. But before remote worker ID, wait, I'm losing con losing focus. What is what what is I'm trying to explain? <laughs> uh, you start building your oh, right, 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 uh, right. Mm. brand. I'm losing a brand. Ah, sorry, I'm losing focus again. <laughs> there are lots of ideas coming in my head actually. I don't know. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe you want to explain about how to start uh, start up to Mbak Zafira, yeah? Uh, right, yeah. Start okay. Um, yeah, okay, maybe I can uh, stop at this uh, question. Mbak <laughs> Siva, is that answer your question? Uh, more or less? Actually, uh, yeah, you didn't answer the fact that how long did it take for you to build remote worker? Sorry. So probably 
the remote packet ID name is a year. A year about one and two year more or less. One or two months more or less. But the birth of it since 2017 from Python Tusias. And then you might agree. So Python Tusias live about two years, 2017 and 2019. But the work ID live from 2019 and 2020. This will shoot, this should go long than I know. Okay, that's, that is that's Sabina. Two years. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, any other question? May I? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That's my. So uh, aside from losing traction early on, I think the problem with Matahari Mall was also caused by the brutal battle in the marketplace competition mm. because competitors like Tokopedia and Shopee spend a lot of money on their promotions. Right, mm. right, right. That's true. So in, in your field, do you think that there have been many platforms for remote working such as Upwork and Freelancer? Mm. And how, how do you plan to win the competition? And what is your distinctive value proposition? That is a good answer. I, um, at the first, I'm not talking about competing with them, but now, I, but now, yes, about two or one month ago, I have that idea. Uh, remote, work, remote work idea, thank you for the question. That means you are thinking that remote work idea is in the same level of, in the same market with Upwork or Freelancer. But it's actually not at first, but now it is yes. At first, I'm just trying to mentor them into uh, get their first job in Upwork or freelancer.com. But after I already said there are marketplaces of job, yeah, I'm going to make a marketplace for that in remotebooker.id. Uh, in terms of competition, okay, I'm going, I'm going to give you a, a competition for this. Indonesia have this project called ID, right? Anyone know this? Let me check. This is look like a... Uh, Upwork, but the the worst thing is, it's really cheap. It really cheap. So there is a uh, creating a marketplace blah blah blah, blah five million. <laughs> They're really cheap. There is also Seribu Lancer. Dot com, and then I'm not sure. Just the, and then also in, in international level there is Upwork and Freelancer. Dot com. Actually, I'm trying to sit between Upwork and this. Um, I'm trying to sit between uh, Upwork.com and Project.co.id. In uh, Upwork.com, the price the, the, the price is quite expensive. I mean, uh, about 20, 15 hours, 10, 15 hours, 15 dollar per hour or 25 dollar per hour. But pro Project Co ID probably just three. US dollar per hour, so very cheap. I'm going to sit between them. 10 probably. So, I mean, uh, this means those uh, offshore company would like to give job. If, if they spend that into Upwork, it will be expensive, but they are not going to do Project ID because it's uh, Indonesian based. They're going to remember ID. That's about ID actually. And then, but all the worker from Indonesia is not going is trying is going to the remote worker ID because it gives a strategy of having a bigger salary of working in Upwork. Um, I'm losing track here. Wait, wait, wait. So all my idea is revenue gaining. So all the job must be done with all the members that already paid. So if they want to get a job here, they must first become either a member of the paid. So yeah, actually I'm I give you two words. I'm going to mix Udemy and Upworks. That is the okay. clue. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Mas Ismail. That's a really good and good question. Okay, yeah, any other question? I think uh, you can also ask uh, asking question. Sir, I have a question. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. 
Uh, you said that Scrum is like the most used methodology for it's like um, uh, the industry standard. Right. Uh, so I want to ask is is that is it because it's far superior uh, to other methodologies or is it just because everyone uses it so we're going to use it like that mentality? No, it's it's really superior. It's really it's superior because it's simple. So that's I'm not I cannot I cannot think of other simpler and superior method other than Scrum. Probably it's the pinnacle of software development methodology. I'm not sure we are going to get another methodology in the next, I don't know, one decade or two decades. There, is, there, is, there should be none. But that's just my opinion, actually. Yeah, that's the master skill. Oh, OK. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Anyone? Uh, uh, there is something that I would like to add, add say. Uh, before Scrum, the Agile movement, there is an Agile manifesto. Anyone hear this? This is like a, a pack for server development methodology. Uh, bef after this manifesto, you can see this, the name of the founders. Can back here. They are the big four, the gang of four, right? The gang of fours. They create uh, extreme programming after Agile. Uh, that is one thing that I left out, extreme programming. I actually write my script C, final assignment in S S1 is uh, extreme programming, test drive on development and extreme programming. <laughs> this, is, this is my final assignment. So I really love extreme Agile development methodology since that 2000. Eight because that's my final assignment, and how many years are that? Are there twelve years, right? So after twelve years, after that, now I'm really using it. So I think I know what will be the trend because uh, the trend for Jira, uh, I mean uh, uh, Scrum, has been started in about a decade ago. So it's so it already mature and already a standard. That's why I've been using it because it's already mature. Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah. Uh, is there any question? Or uh, maybe we can close the session, yeah? yeah. Uh, there is no more question from the student. I think it's, uh, it is possible for you asking question in Bahasa if uh, you want maybe uh, more asking more detail in Bahasa, I think it's okay. Masiko? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, I think it's enough for this session. And thank you very much for Mas Eko Suprapto Wibowo uh, for your sharing and uh, your explanation about Scrum and several examples on how uh, implementing Scrum in developing software and also in how uh, creating a startup. Uh, you give example on how you build a remote worker.id. Uh, your startup, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, and then, uh, yeah, uh, maybe one of you uh, is interested to finding job in international market. Maybe you can contact Mas Eko Suparto Ibo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's join us. Uh, there is another advantage actually. If you join this community, you will find big name in Indonesia. I'm not going to say what is the name, but it's really big name. Uh, Okay. The big name is they have blue mark in your accounts. <laughs> so a really big name. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, yeah, once again, thank you very much, Mas Eko Suprapto Wibowo. We hope uh, we can uh, have you again and yeah, sure. be in different, different uh, topics, yeah? Yeah, sure. And then uh, for who? Still having uh, have a question for Mas Eko? Maybe you can contact uh, in the Facebook uh, Messenger, or maybe you can share your contact Mas Eko. In, uh, okay, okay. Oh, where, when, when, where, where? Plan. Where is the chat? Chat, 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 chat. Yeah, uh, under the tab of your participant. Participant. 
Now I, I, now I understand why Pak Prapto is confused or Pak Medi confused. <laughs> It's really confusing. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yes, I'm, yes, I'm, going to, no I'm going to find it to pi, uh, type it here. My phone number is really easy to un to understand, but it it convey my age. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so people know that uh, 1975, yeah. <clears throat> Actually no, <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you very much once again, to Mas Eko Sukrato Wibowo. Then uh, maybe this is the end for uh, this class for today. And then uh, for uh, next meeting, uh, I will invite uh, another another professional on software development maybe yeah or invite mas eko again if uh, uh, you think that is, uh, we need uh, more discussion with mas eko yeah. okay <clears throat> yeah that's uh, enough for today and then assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you sir yeah 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 a bit beneficial for you guys bye thank you sir thank you sir yeah